Hey guys, it's, welcome to the Provokers Podcast, where we talk about things you probably should too. Today I'm joined by my co-host, Ethan and Noah. You guys want to introduce yourself? What's good, guys? This is Dog 54 And uh, this is Flabzuxy Gaming, as you all know. Alright. Yes. How, how you guys doing today? Doing alright, man. Can't really complain too much. You know, I, uh... <laughs> I so I think this was Saturday when I woke up. I woke up on Saturday because before I, I John, you had heard this when we played Powerball Simulator, <clears throat> something that's coming soon. Uh, but anyway, we I said this during that, and we the channel hit my channel anyway hit um five thousand. Uh, yeah, it was no it was six thousand. Did I say six thousand? I say five thousand. You said five thousand. Five thousand. Five thousand. Okay, so yeah, I hit we hit five thousand, and uh, which was insane because I was like two because I just released a three K special, which was hilarious. Um, so now we're behind on that. But then I wake up on Saturday and see that we have 7,000 now. Oh, nice. So I'm behind oh. on a lot of crap. So um, I'm still working on the 4K special. It's something it's something coming soon. For those that have been on my channel recently, you know that it's going to be Minecraft related. I'm hoping to get the gang together. Essentially, uh, if the stars align, uh, John has a pretty very lenient schedule as far as I'm aware. Axel is going to be uh, pretty easy to get because it's one of his favorite games. Noah's going to get a little harder, but then after, and that's it, because uh, there's there's just four. But I'm hoping that the day works out and that we can schedule a day where we all uh, do that thing. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be a couple hours of just fun and craziness, and it's Minecraft. So if you don't like Minecraft, you might have something innately wrong with you. But, I mean, awesome. yeah. And that's the 4K special. After that, you guys have blown, blown up my channel, so I have no clue what to do for those yet. I'm still working on them. So they're going to be very, very late. Uh, so, yeah. That's what's, that's what's been going on with me. It's pretty good. For yeah. me, uh, not much has been happening. I, uh, I watched Logan, which was nice. You know, years yeah. after it came out. Yeah, I actually do have, like, one crazy thing that's happened to me this weekend. I thought this was interesting, because I've never had this happen before. So, I was in the Dollar General with my parents, well, with my mother and two sisters. When I came across an aisle, went through, picked something out, don't remember what. And this guy came up to me and he asked me, Hey, son, are you looking for a job? And I was like, um, sure. And he said, well, would you like one? And I was like, sure. And he's like, do you want to do this, this, and this? And I'm like, yeah, sure. And he's like, do you want to make $30 an hour doing it? And I was like, uh, all right, sign me up. Needless you know, to say, I think later this week I should hopefully have a job. Can you explain a little bit more? Because that sounds like a pedophile that just came up to you. Sounds more like okay, a so mafia boss. He came up to me, offered me a job for a company, showed me the card, everything looked legit, even had the shirt on, explained to me what the job was, that I can also go to a trade school for the job, and it just be paying a lot. And Are you going to their them. location, or is it an at-home situation? Uh, I would be going to their location. So, since me and this guy live in the same town, I'd be walking over to this guy's house, and then uh, getting a ride to work. After we get done with work, I, I go back to his place, I walk home, and yeah. That sounds that really seem- suspicious. Yeah, that sounds super yeah, sketchy. That sounds know, like the setup for a horror movie. I, I know it sounds suspicious, but I just talked to the boss yesterday. Everything sounds legit. Yeah, mm-hmm. th- th- that's how scams work. They sound legit. It doesn't mean they are legit. So uh, I've, I've never had anyone, in a Dollar General nonetheless, <laughs> I've never had anyone come up to me and say, Hey, hey, small child, that I'm probably that's 20 years younger than me, would you like a job at my place? Like, that's a little, that's a little sus. And I don't like using that word, but that's yeah. a little sus. So, uh, anyone listening, we are accepting applications for us, <laughs> a third person. <laughs> okay. But yeah, if you see me in the news this week missing, I think you'll know why. Yeah, you know, I'd be a little cautious, and I don't know if I'd walk to work as well. That's, again, setting up for a horror movie. Well, okay. see, I won't be walking to work, but yesterday was a pretty shit day, and uh, reason being, I-, I was on a bike ride, everything was going normally, I was about a mile away from home, and I was like, alright, I can get that mile in, I can get home in under 15 minutes. As I'm pedaling, I hear a snap, bike chain snapped right in half. Oh, good. That sounds fun. So, I have no, tra- I have no choice but to walk. Mm-hmm. 
So I yeah. wouldn't walk. I, you wouldn't catch me dead in this heat that's in the area right now. Like for us, like it's eighty five, which to you Floridians out there, like you uh, Westerners, yeah. doesn't sound that bad. However, the humidity I'm pretty sure is at like ninety nine percent. It's really stupid high, and so it feels like a hundred and three. Right. Yeah, it absolutely sucks here. Yeah, and yeah. Uh, which is unfortunate because I have to have my air conditioner off from the podcast because. It makes too much noise, and you'd hear it in the background, but it's like, my room gets up to at least, like, 90 degrees in the hour that it takes us to record this. Dang. I'm pretty sure my room's at about 97 right now, because my fan's off, and I have to record for this, and some background noise, so. Yeah, yeah. That's the problem with recording, you people out there trying to become a YouTuber or a podcaster. You have to have no background noise, and that's that's thus meaning you no fans, no air conditioning. I mean, if you're in, if you're in England or whatever, you don't have air conditioning anyway uh you people are crazy out there you just leave windows open but i mean hey we're if it works works i guess yeah well to be fair they also don't have a sweltering heat that we have right now so no they get they get some heat they, i think in yeah. i think in the uk it was like 70 today it was isn't as bad as it is now but 70 with no air conditioning that's hot for me i can't do anything in that heat yeah that's something with no i can't air... sleep unless it's like 50 like, I literally, the one night this, my power went out, and it was out for, like, the entire night, and I literally couldn't sleep, because I had no fan, I had no air conditioner, it was in the midst of summer, and it was just so high, I just couldn't sleep, so I had to, I read a book, I think, for a little bit to try and fall asleep, that didn't work. Eventually, I got to sleep around, like, 4 o'clock in the morning, but it, like, I can't sleep unless it's, there's either air on me, like, cool air, or if the room mm -hmm. itself is, like, 50 degrees, I can't. Yeah. I'm actually the same way, which is why my sleep schedule for right now is so screwed because of how hot it's been lately. I have to have my fan running, but due to the way I have it set up, it's not cool enough for me. Mm -hmm. So it takes like four or five in the morning to fall asleep. Yikes. That yeah. Sounds a bit yeah, I hate that. Anyway, we should probably let the yeah, host. Are you tell me? Are you telling me how to do my job now? Uh, my no, 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 I'm just <laughs> saying. Like, I, I, I'm just saying this has been a great like opening to the podcast. Maybe we should actually get to the topic. Yeah, it's okay. No one just instantly loses. He gets the instant lose card. <laughs> yeah. Please no. Please no. Yeah, I'm on a losing streak. Right. I don't uh, want to be handed the. Oh, like a, what are you on? Like six now? Yeah. If, if five or six, I think. It's well, it's, yeah, I guess. Done... You asked at the beginning before we started how many podcasts you've done. You've done the you did the gaming one. Mm -hmm. You did what else did you do? I feel like you did another one. Wait, you must have done another did? one. No, Wait, there's definitely did? another one you did. Hang on, let me look no. at it real quick. I but I swear did. you there's the gaming one. Then yeah. there's Okay, oh, here. Okay. So Deadly Hills is me, Pheasant Phobia was John, Joe Quest is uh -huh. me. Was it? Oh, you did the girls one. The girls are complicated one. Oh, did you no, bring that up? Wasn't me. Oh, that was John. Yeah, I think so. Okay, the art of creation was definitely you. That's the video game one. Even more hills is me. Oh, you did trips. The worst trips. Oh, okay. That you definitely did. And then after, did you also do school sucks? No. No. Oh, it does sound like something I would do. Yeah. Okay. So then that's it. You've only done two out of the twelve episodes we've done. Jesus that's, Christ! That's I am <laughs> Uh, you know what? Just, just for that, I'll let I'm the, I'll wave the uh, negative thirty po negative ten points I just had. <laughs> oh, hurt me! Take the points away! Hurt me! I'm not doing that. Um. Anyway, the <laughs> the today's topic is times you got pissed off, or you know we got screwed in this distractibles version of it. But, oh. Um. You know it could be someone cut you in line once and you decided to murder their entire family, or uh. <laughs> Something bigger than that. <laughs> Something oh. bigger than that. John, want to talk about that Golf with Friends episode we did? Oh, yeah. That one... <laughs> How many orphanages got blown up in that episode? It was quite a few, yeah. Oh, where do I start with this? Yeah, gonna... Do you want me to go first, Noah? If you're... if you, I think Noah's, you Noah's been losing, so we, we make him go first, right? Well, he said he doesn't have one, so I'll go first. All right. Um... The... People in general piss me off, but I think this one time I got really upset. So, I was in, I think we were in the, I was in line at a restaurant in Disney. Mm -hmm. um, which is Disney, so you know the line's like ridiculously long. 
but essentially we were in line and then um we were it was a restaurant sort i think it was like one of those you know those food courts like those things whatever they're called uh, like they, they have multiple different options we were in one of the lines and this lady in front of us not even joking ordered the entire menu basically she ordered i don't know how many kids she thought she had but she she ordered like everything off the menu and then we go up to order and we ordered like a, I started I started ordering a chicken sandwich or whatever I was getting. She cuts in front of me, and is like, "Excuse me, I was here first. And I'm like, "Yeah, but you just took your food and left, so therefore I'm here now, and therefore I'm ordering." And also the cashier was letting me order. And she's like, "No, th- I was here first. I'm I'm ordering before you do." And I'm sitting. I was standing there with my tray, like, "Oh my good lord." And then I, I was really, I really just wanted to say something to her, but I'm just like, no, I should, be, I'll back up and let her do her thing or whatever. But it really ticked me off. I was so upset because it's like you just left. Why did you come back here? Because like she ordered the entire menu. Like what else are you ordering? You order everything. Unless you're getting two of everything, which she didn't. But that would have been, I would have literally busted out laughing. It's just like. <laughs> You ordered the entire menu. The menu had 70 things on it. It was a basically a McDonald's. And you ordered everything. Like, I can't even imagine your bill, first of all. I can't even imagine that. And then second of all, like I said, what are you feeding? The, the raccoons outside? Like, it just didn't make any sense. And I was so, I, I, the reason I was pissed off was because I was standing there for a full 30 minutes. And standing there in a hot cafeteria for 30 minutes... It it uh, really just kind of brings your mood down. I'll tell you what. And, it, and like I said, she was just really, and she wasn't even nice about it. Like I said, that's that's the interaction we had. She wasn't like, oh, sorry, can I get in front of you to get my food or whatever. She's like, no. She's like, no. I th- I was here first. You're gonna move. You're gonna move backwards or whatever. God, I hated that person. What else did they have to order? Do you remember? I they got a they got a couple drinks, which they already had drinks, by the way, and they got a different sandwich, I think. Bruh. And it's like, are you seriously feeding the rat? Are you are you going to Africa? Are you feeding the hungry after with all that food? Like, where are you going with that? <laughs> it just didn't make any sense. Like that because yeah. remember, this is Disney, and so the food prices are like abysmal. They're ridiculous. So her bill oh, yeah. must have been like in the five hundreds or something. Like, so why are you spending big. so much on food? Like, I looked at where she sat down. It was just her and two other people. Her and two other people. Oh, yeah, what? it didn't make any sense. Oh, I was just, I was just ticked off. I was really upset. That is. Yeah, I can't blame you for that one. That was like the least. That was like the little one I had, but because I, I have a bigger one, I just need to remember the story later. Mm-hmm. Um, but like, oh my god, that lady pissed me off. It sounds like I it. have. No, you go. I, I have many times I was pissed off because as of lately, I've had a short fuse with just about everyone and that includes stupid people so one day i'm going home from school this is like ninth grade and i think on this day it was like maybe six days after my birthday or it was either that or last day of school don't really remember which either way i was biking home came down the swim parking lot Went down the, through the gas station, went, was about to go right to where the subway was. When all of a sudden, this car decides to back up when it's like, because there's a, this little junction near the school, and it's a three way junction. You have cars coming one way, cars coming another way, and then cars coming from the school or the road where people lived on. So, when I'm going through and someone starts to back up, I yelled, What the fuck are you doing? And this guy looked at me and said, What? And I'm like, You are backing the fuck up into me while I'm trying to cross the fucking road. And he's like, Well, I didn't do any harm to you. And I'm like, If you had kept fucking backing up, you would have ran me the fuck over. He just looked at me and said, I don't see the big fucking deal. And I'm like, and I don't see why they gave you a fucking license. You need to learn how to drive again, you stupid donkey. Oh. Oh, I, have, I have never been more pissed off. And that's what gets me big time is fucking road rage. 
So, Dude. just out of curiosity, what did the guy say to, after that last sentence that you said? After I called him a fucking donkey, he called me a retard. We almost got into a fight. It, it almost okay. went nasty. Yeah, oh, so. I, don't, I, I don't mean the R word. I mean redacted. <laughs> Oh, oh, wait, John, you forgot to take away points. Yeah, we gotta take Shit. away at least two points. Oh, so did, did it again? No! What is this? The episode of people being pissed off, and now I get points taken away anytime I cuss? If it's Instead not. Instead of the title being called we, we Get Screwed, it's called No One Just Gets Screwed. <laughs> no One Gets Screwed. <laughs> yeah, as if we got screwed, No One Gets Screwed the entire episode by John and Ethan. No, the episode name's gonna be that long. It's, just, it's just called No One Gets Screwed. Mm hmm. Ah, this is gonna be fun. Alright, well, you get negative two points for swearing. I do! And <laughs> you get additional five points for a good story. Yes! So you're now at, uh, three points. <sighs> I'll take it. <laughs> Just the side. <laughs> I'll, I'll take it. It's something. Alright, <sighs> well. See, I... You know, try to, you know, keep my cool when I have situations that people piss me off. But there was one time, and this could have been in the school stories, I don't think I mentioned it though. Um, where, like, it was when I was moving schools. The school I moved to was, like, really difficult about, like, just letting me be in the school. Which is really strange. Like, they didn't believe that we were meant to be at that school. Even though we had, like, called ahead of time to be like, hey... We're moving to the area. This is the school district we're going to be in. And they were just, like, really difficult difficult about the whole process. Um, we, and, you know, I ended up moving, like, midway through, like, at the end of January, right? And I didn't get into the school till like, the end of February. It's, like, how difficult they were being. And I don't remember the entire story, but I remember they were just awful about it. Which was weird, because they're a magnet school. Which means, like, they get people from all over the place. And also, there's a lot of military families in the area who will come at the middle of the year. So it's not, like, odd for them to get a new student in the middle of the year. And they were suspicious about it. They were just being difficult for no reason. Because they knew it was you. So they wanted to, be, they wanted to give you a challenge. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. Maybe they said to themselves... This kid needs to prove that he belongs here. Apparently. Uh, what kind of that's the entry phase we we'll give him. Hmm. Yeah, that's the entry phase. You had to you had to fight your way to get in the school of survival of the fittest. Apparently. Yeah, you had to really just show and prove that I was enrolled. I should be here. It makes me wonder why there's so many dumb kids in that school then. <laughs> I wonder why. Rich parents. Oh. Well, yeah, that too. That's usually how it goes. Yeah. So speaking of school stories that I I uh, I had one. T this wasn't it wasn't really major to be in the pot uh, the episode of school stories or whatever. But this one, um, this girl, right? And oh my god, I just I hated her as a human being in general. <laughs> but like this exact second, this moment that we had. Oh my god, I just wanted to flip a table. So I was in line, and this was this was around uh, this was senior year. Um, and she was, I think, I don't know how great she was. I didn't really care to ask her. Um, and essentially, I get in line to go get my lunch. It was the, the line was pretty long that day because the sub line, there's two different lines. Like I said, I think I said in that one episode. Um, there's a hot lunch line and then there's a sub line, or like they serve, they sometimes have hot stuff and that's that too. But the stuff that was on the sub side, a lot of people liked, I think. And so the, the line was long. Either way, I was in the back of the line. And. Um, and my friend, uh, told me, like, hey, since we're in Bosey's, you can just cut, uh, cut the line. And I'm like, oh, wait, I should actually do that this time, because I don't feel like waiting. Because the line was, like, super long, like, um, John, if you remember the, there's the two doors, it was the right door. Mm -hmm. And essentially, the line went all the way to the left door, that's how long the line was. Wow. And so, I'm just thinking, uh, I'm not waiting in that big line, nor am I waiting at the table or whatever. So, I'm just like, okay, I'll, I'll cut in line this time, because they still do it. And holy crap, did this girl have a fit. And I mean an actual fit. So I'm like, I everyone that I passed was like, excuse me, I have to go to Bosey's, or like, I'm Bosey, I need to come in front of you. Everyone, everyone was like, all right, sure, go ahead. When I got to the very front of the line, who was still being, uh, they, they were just about to get served. The lunch lady that uh, was serving me, she's like, oh, hi, you didn't want the usual or whatever, I forgot what she said. 
Um, but anyway, she she asked me something. And the girl that was about to be served was like, excuse me, you can't uh, cut in line with me. Or what What did she say? Something like that. She Her sentence, first of all, didn't make a whole lot of sense because I think she was just that ticked off. But essentially, that's what she said. And I'm like, uh, oh, yeah, I go to Bosey's. I get to cut in line. She's like, I don't care where you go. You're not going to cut in front of me. And I'm sitting there like, what are you on, first of all? And second of all, the thing I actually said was, well, I don't care what your belief system is. I'm going to be cutting in line, as I just did. And she's like, excuse me, you don't talk to me like that way, so get out of the way. And she actually tried to physically push me out of the way. And I'm like, nope, that's not, that's not how this works. And uh, her friends started ganging up on me as well. I'm just like, I don't, first of all, I don't know who you two are, nor do I really care. And second of all, I'm a senior. I leave this school, and therefore I'm better than you. So you're going to step aside, and I'm going to get my food before you. That's just how life works. I said something along those lines. I was really ticked off. I was like really trying to be sarcastic in the moment. And what was what did her friend say? She's like, it was something. It, she tried to turn it into a sexism thing because there was three girls in front of, there was three girls that were about to be served, and then I cut in front of them to get to get most or to get my lunch. She turned it into a sexism thing. I forgot exactly what she said, but essentially she's like, oh, you're cutting in front of us because we're females. Or I don't know what she said. I didn't really care in the moment, honestly. And I'm like, yeah, okay. So I I grab my tray and I go down the thing, and. I get to the lunch table and with my friend. He, I don't, th- I think he was in the hot lunch line, so because he wasn't there, but his bag was there. So I sit down and I'm starting to eat my food. And this uh, teacher, who I've never seen in my life before, never saw them once, comes up to me and said, "Hey, you cut in line. You're not allowed to do that." And I'm like, "I'm literally in Bosis. We can do that thing. I don't know if you're a new teacher here, but we can do that kind of stuff." And they're like, "No, you can't." And I'm, I literally walked over to the guy that ran the whole BOCES situation, I walked over to him, he was literally a table across from us. I'm like, hey, so, random question, if you were in BOCES, and because BOCES had to leave early, for those that don't know, I don't think I've clarified that, BOCES has to leave early from lunch because they depart uh, the school and go to a different school, and it takes about, like, 25 minutes to get there, so they had, so we had to leave lunch, like, 10 minutes before everyone else did. Just, just to clarify, because people would be like, well, why can't you cut in line? That's why, because we had to, we had to do that. So anyway, I'm like, hey, random question. Um, if I were, in, if I were to be in Bosies, which you, you know, I am, uh, could you, could I theoretically cut in line to get my food faster? That way, I can eat faster. That way, I can get make it to Bosies. And he's like, yeah, absolutely. We've been doing that for the past like however many years. He said, and I, I literally looked at the teacher and I gave her the sassy like, mm, who was right this time? And she on it, she walked away, but she was super pissed. Anyway. The 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 whole the story that got me the most was that those two girls that were in front like were really just really aggravated that they got they were so offended it was it's, that's what it was it's like they were offended it's like I I had a vendetta against them or something it's like that's I, that was the first time I've ever seen them by the way and they were the sassy kind of uh, people in high school I think they might have been tenth grade or something I don't know but my god did I want to flip a table at them. <laughs> I yeah. really can't blame you, especially when people play that card, because it's so annoying. Yeah, it, they played the sexism card because they knew they were losing. That's what it was. Because yeah. they knew the lunch lady was already on my side because she was already making my food. And yeah. I, the her friend said something else, but I forgot, so I didn't mention it. But essentially, they were basically like, oh, you're, you know, you're doing this because we're girls. I'm like, what? I just yeah. cut in front of 27 guys. What are you talking about? Like you have no merit to you. Just pull, you pulled out the sexism card because you knew that you were about to lose this argument. Mm-hmm. So, so outrageous. Yeah, I was really pissed off that day. I, I Bosies made it better because I loved Bosies, but my God, was I pissed off that day. You know, and <sighs> in a in a uh, another universe, they're the ones who are running the pa- podcast and they're talking about you about <laughs> the cutting in line. Yeah, so, uh, sister, have you heard about this little guy that was, he was, like, shorter than me because, you know, he's short. But anyway, he, like, he, he cut in front of me because he's, uh, you know, he's sexist, doesn't like women. Um, you know, so I, I, he just wanted a sandwich, but, you know, I didn't, I had to throw a fit about it <laughs> in the middle of a public cafeteria in a school building. Um, but, you know, I, I did it, I, I was in the right because I, I'm a girl, so I was in the right. Yeah. Sounds about right. what our argument was. Yeah, pretty much. Well, no. Do you have another one? Of course. All right. So this story takes place. Let me think. About 
maybe two, three weeks ago. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like I said, I've I've had a short fuse lately, so I get pissed easily now. So, uh, two or three weeks ago, I was in Florida, just hanging out with my dad one day, when all of a sudden I receive a text from my grandmother, and actually, not scratch at it, it was about a week or two ago. Anyway, I received this text from my grandmother just saying, hey, do you want to go to this beach for the weekend? I rented the Airbnb and blah, blah, blah. And I was like, um, sure. Sounds good. Fast forward to the day of we're supposed to leave for said beach. She left without us. And I was like, okay, um, it's not the end of the world. Maybe she'll come back the next day and tell us about it and then still take us. Uh, and then I get a text like five minutes later. And she asks, hey, can you guys watch your dogs while we're gone for the weekend? And I just reply with, are you fucking kidding me? At least in my head, I replied with, are you fucking serious? Because not only did she invite us, but then leave us without even like being, without even making sure that we wanted to go. She just straight up said, hey, uh, I know I just invited you guys, but um, I'm going to take the weekend to myself and go. And I don't know why this pissed me off so much, but it pissed me off a lot. Because usually, if we make plans with her, it happens. Now, albeit she wasn't the best the entire time I wasn't down there. And if you're listening to this now, fuck you. Wow. Wow. Slaying at our listeners. That's a negative 15. I I really hate her after that that trip in Florida because she just made it so much worse. Mm -hmm. Like, the trip started out fine, but she just made it so bad. Anyway, there's that one. Yeah, well. When you first started your story, no, I had I had to be honest. The first thing I thought of when you said your grandma texted you or whatever, like, oh, there's there's grandmas in your area. <laughs> that's the first thing I thought of. <laughs> nah, but well, uh, that's gonna be a whole whole saga the Florida trip. <laughs> because stories. because you keep losing points for swearing, uh, that's another two points deducted. <laughs> My stories are gonna evolve swearing. So yeah, but you swore, you swore at a listener. You said if they're listening, then fuck you. So therefore... Yeah, exactly. Oh, that's bashing your listener? That's minus an extra five points? Yeah, that's, that's, it's... that's oh. right. That's worse than before oh, when you were just swearing. Oh god, I'm getting... I'm just getting bent over on a table and fucked in the ass, aren't I? Alright, that's, that's not... another <laughs> three points. You're, the, you're asking yeah. for the points now. You're asking for it now. Oh, bend me over and take more points away. You know you oh, don't have ass. any points now. <laughs> he has a negative 36 <laughs> at the end of this. I wouldn't be surprised. Alright, well, he said you have another story. Yes, yes. So, okay, this one actually doesn't involve a line, for once. Um, so, like I said, high schoolers are like the... Unless you know them, they're usually like the worst people on the planet. Um, and essentially, this, this happened in, was it math or global? Well, it was, it was a class where it was, um, the seats were separated and there was, they were in the stupid rows or whatever. It wasn't like science where the, you could be in, uh, two seats at once or whatever. I think it was math. Yeah, th- math would make a lot of sense. So, math class, right? Um, as I was sitting in the front, uh, I don't remember what seat, but I was sitting in the front. Uh, cause I have glasses and I can't see, uh, like way in the back. So I always choose like one of the front seats. And, um, the teacher was a substitute teacher on the first day. And I'm thinking, okay, great. The teacher's not going to tell me crap. And essentially I sit in the front and, um, oh no, sorry. Yeah. I sit in the front and then she comes up to me. And she's like, oh, uh, what's your name or whatever. I'm like, oh, I'm Ethan. Um, and then she's like, okay, there you are. Uh, is this your seat? And I'm like, yeah, it's the first day, right? Can we choose it? And she's like, yeah, go ahead. Choose it. It's like, okay, cool. So she walks off, she goes, she starts greeting other people that are coming in. And then, as the bell rings, like, after the announcement, she comes over to me like, hey, this isn't your spot. And I'm thinking to myself, okay, she's either drunk, or she's an idiot. 
I'm going to go with the latter. So I basically said, lady, you literally just came over here and told me that I can pick my seat. So I'm, this is my seat. And she's like, uh, and no, she's like, no, I marked down this. And I'm not going to say his name. She marked down this purse, other person to sit there and he didn't have a seat. And he was standing right next to her. And I'm like, really? And then I, I've, I'm like, whatever. So I get up and I'm like, okay, where's my actual seat? I'm not changing it this time. Where's my seat? And she's like, oh, it's all the way in the back there. I'm like, are you serious? And so I'm like, yeah. So I'm, I'm I, I, I can't. I could see if I wanted to, and I'm, but I instead I'm like, no, I, I can't see back there. My eyesight's not good at all. And she's like, well, that's the only seat I have for you right now. And I'm like, move someone else in the back that can see. What do you mean that's the only seat you have? You have 28 students in here. One of them you could move. That kid back there, he has perfect eyesight. Move him, like, move him, some, move him to that seat so I can have his seat. Or something like that. It's like, you have so many open seats because you can just move people. That's what you teachers do. You move people all the time. So what do you mean you, that's the only seat you have for me? And so I'm like, well, I'm either sitting on the floor or you're going to move someone to that seat. And she's like, first of all, don't give me attitude. And then second of all, I'm like, oh my gosh. But and then she's like, second of all, um, what does she say? She's like, blah, 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 this, this is what my, this is what your teacher said to do. And I'm like, if she was here, cause I knew who the teacher, I knew who the actual teacher was, but I, I said to her, I, if she was here, I know for a fact she would move someone else so that the blind kid could sit in the front and see the board so he doesn't fail the class. And she's like, sorry, this is how it has to be. And, and then she walks off and like ends the conversation. And I'm like, I will throw a table at you because like i was i was so upset and then everyone was kind of like um I, I go to sit down in the back and one of the kids back there was like man she's a bit and i'm not gonna say the word but you know what she they called her and i'm like i usually don't like using that word but you know what you're absolutely right that had that she had no merit to say that to me at all um oh yeah th this is this is what really got this is what really ticked me off um, essentially, the, the, the part of that conversation I forgot before she had walked off, um, I said, lady, I literally have, like, like, the worst vision in this class, I guarantee. And she's like, oh, you can't prove that you have the worst vision. I'm like, lady, well, three people in here are wearing glasses. I have the thickest glasses. You're a math teacher. Shouldn't you be able to calculate this stuff? And it really, that, that sentence alone, it's like, you can't prove this. And when someone says that to me, and I have undisputable proof, <laughs> glasses on my face with labels on them to say what, how strong they are. It means you're saying to me that I cannot prove that I am, like, almost blind. You have a problem that you might want to sort out. Maybe you yourself are blind, and you can't recognize that I'm blind as well. So that, that, after that sentence, that really ticked me off. Because, like, that's when, I, that's when I told my friend, like, yeah, that deserves no merit at all. Um... And it really just grinded my gears. Like, it's like, I literally am wearing glasses. What do you mean I can't, like, you, I can't prove that I'm, like, a, I was just so upset. I, Even thinking about it now just makes me upset. I can honestly 100% uh, agree with that story. Is like, as someone who needed glasses and can't see either, I would, if I was placed towards the back, I, I typically wouldn't complain, but I'm like, I'm not going to be able to read the board. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But it's just like, and that, luckily that was the only time I ever saw her again. But that was just like, oh my god, lady, you're a substitute math teacher. You should be able to understand basic common sense that there's three kids with glasses in here, all of which are at the front, by the way, all of them are at the front. Do the same thing for me, and be done with it. You are spending so much time wasting my time and their time to freaking just do nothing and like belitter me for no reason it's like first of all the front seat that i had you said i could sit in just because you marked it down or whatever or you marked it down incorrectly isn't my fault that is your fault so i should have just stayed in my seat i shouldn't have moved yeah i actually get that because i've had that happen a couple times and as someone who also wears glasses and is almost practically blind in my left eye i get that yeah, but I've seen your glasses. No, yours isn't as thick as mine is. If I take my glasses off, I can't see freaking anything. Okay, I mean, true. I can see I can see stuff. I just can't see words. As the more precise way to say, it. like I can see colors. I can see. I'm not like colorblind or anything, but I I just can't read words. 
Okay, but true, but say for example I took off my glasses, covered my right eye. If I tried to look around at all with my left eye, I'm blind in it. Did I, you have I an accident really... with your left eye? Because usually that only happens with accidents or anything. Like, if, like uh, not birth defects, but like uh, genetics or anything. Because my, I, I've never met anyone that has a bad, besides you apparently, but I've never met anyone that has like a bad eye on their I... on a specific side. If there was any accidents that have happened when I was little to my left eye, I don't know about them. My uh, great grandma is I'll... blind in one eye. What? My great grandma, she's blind in one eye, but she's also kind of old. See. So, well, old man, yeah, I mean, old people that happens to a lot uh, because your eyes deteriorate as you get older. But I, like, I'm talking about like our age of people. I don't think I've ever met someone like that. Right. Well, you get. It. A certain amount of points, I feel like it's getting far enough where I stop announcing points, but unless it's to take away from now. <laughs> Alright. I was going to save this story for a little later, but I might as well tell it now while I've got time. As long as you don't assault viewers. Uh, this is one of the bigger stories. So, back in my last year of high school, so our last year of high school, even, uh, you remember at Bosey's, so there was that, like, um, War Day at Bosey's? Uh, yes. I designed one of the posters for it. Right. So, uh, during that day, I was doing the Food Wars portion because I was taking the culinary class, which I passed, by the way. I would like to point that out. Anyway. Um, so, during this competition, I was given a team. I was on Team Japan, which you call Team Red. Ooh, that's a good team. Thank you. Anyway, um, while it seemed like a good team on the outside, on the inside, it was a total clusterfuck. And what I mean is, the team, while it worked, none of us really knew each other that well. None of us got along that well. And I don't know why, but anytime I pitched a goddamn idea to the head chef, he liked it. But then as executive, I was like, wait, what if we take his idea and we do this, 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 completely changing the idea and then just leaving me with my original idea and them with something else that I thought was pretty, that wasn't mine, even though I thought my original idea was pretty good. And they did this so much throughout the entire project to the point of come the actual day I was so pissed off with these guys, I did not want to work with them. So, when it came to serving food, I served it. When it came to them getting me food, I, I don't mean to harp on them or be mean about it, but my god, were they fucking slow. Like, I understand, the recipes took a little to like get down and then actually have food out the window, but I mean, it took... Some teams, maybe a max of two minutes to have their food back out on the plate. Well, back in the serving dish. Meanwhile, it took mine about ten fucking minutes. Or at least five to ten. Uh, and just, this whole team was just so fucking bad. Like, I, I worked my ass off with this team. Like, I gave them ideas for slogans. They actually loved a lot of my slogans, but then that executive chef I will not be naming uh, fucked me over, and I had other slogans were chosen. I even made drawings that I thought were pretty decent, and even that was taken over. So yeah, all in all, just... It, well, it was a fun experience, and it's one I'll never forget. It was all just hell with that team. What sucked even more with that was we were originally going to have five people, and so we got one taken away, so we had four. Meanwhile, each team had like five to six people. So we were kind of understaffed. Yeah, people not listening to the other people in group projects also really pisses me off. It's oh like, God, they... why are we here if you're just going to go with your idea? Why are we here? Yeah. Just to suffer. Dude, the, the whole project for me was that meme over and over. <laughs> I would pitch an idea. The executive, the fucking head 
chef would love it. And then the executive was like, what if we do this instead? And in my head, I was just thinking, uh, why, why the fuck am I here? Just to suffer? Just to pitch ideas and have them not be used at fucking all? What the fuck? So Dennis, we want to point out, I don't like snitching or anything, but uh, Noah said five, five bad words in that one uh, yeah, that's story. Yeah, negative no. five. It actually, you know, five this times This two. is one of the stories, god damn. Right, well, you didn't insult any viewers, so let's slide this time. You want to slide? This time. You already uh, you already had like zero points before oh, you started Jesus the story, Christ. so. Uh, well, John, you haven't said one in a while. Do you have another one? Because you're the you made you thought of the um, like topic, so. Uh, it's like similar stories where there's like people cut me in line. I'm like, excuse me, I was here, and then <laughs> you know they said some excuse about bosies, like claim that they're sexist. Hey, was it you that assassinated <laughs> with it? <laughs> yeah, it was me in a wig. <laughs> it's you in a wig, yeah, I'd believe it. Um I oh, you had... actually got shorter. Hmm? You, you were also you also like got shorter. Yeah, I was standing on my knees. <laughs> yes, was also flat as fuck. <laughs> 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 All right. Oh shit. Uh, I oh, had no. I had one where like I had a teacher who, like, nobody in the class liked. Like, <laughs> they were so terrible. Because they didn't really teach us anything. They were always just, like, um... You know, we had to... We, we would ask questions, and they'd be like, um, that's a stupid question, so I'm not gonna answer it. If you had been listening, what? What? I would have I would have answered it. I'm like... I would have thrown a chair at her! What the f... Nah, I couldn't... I couldn't throw a chair at her, it was virtual. I was, oh, I want to throw in a chair through the fourth dimension to hit her in the face. Yeah. You can't say that's a stupid question. It, Your class is stupid. I hope someone said that. Yeah, it was English class, so like, who even needs that? We, I, it's my native language. Why do I need a, a class on it? Stupid yeah, question. I want to English. I'm glad not a single teacher has said that to me because I might have committed an arson. <laughs> I, might, I might have committed arson. I might have joined you if you had. But it, it <laughs> got to the point where they were also like. I would turn in my homework, like, before it was, we, we would get a, because it was a summer class, we only had, like, six weeks to do our work, so we, we had, like, homework, and it was due that night, even on Fridays, like, we didn't have until Monday, or Sunday evening to do our homework, we had until Friday evening to finish our That's homework. That's baloney. And when I would be like, hey, I'm very busy, because I have two classes, which isn't the norm, I'd can we get this time? It's like, no, because I don't have time to grade that many papers. I'm like, excuse me, that's your job. That's literally you get paid to do. What are you talking about? And it got to the point where, like, they were calling home to be like, hey, you, your son didn't, didn't do this right. And they got their, like, they weren't being helpful with their critiques. They were just like, you didn't do it right. And they were, they were calling oh, my, my parents and it was, like, pissing me off. And they got, and then at the end of the, like, course... We, they had us in, like, breakout rooms, and, like, my entire breakout room was just complaining about the teacher. Oh, so, yeah, I think, you, I think you told me that story before. It's just because, like, yeah. no one liked them, because it was so awful. <laughs> they sound really stupid. Agreed. And then... So, another it, one that I remembered, um, I don't have a BOSI, like, my BOSI class was one of the best things ever. But I did have an experience where we we weren't physically touring the campus because it was uh, during mask time and stuff. It wasn't COVID. It was 2021, but it was like the schools are still doing masks and stuff. Mm -hmm. um, and we uh, we toured, uh, for those that don't know, I think it's called uh, SUNY Cobblesville, I think is the name of it. And um, the person that was touring us around, uh, he had questions at the end. And I, of course, had a question. I'm like, hey, because it's... it's um, it's a it's a graphic design stuff. I'm like, hey, do you guys deal with like copyright stuff? Do you guys teach us about that? Because that's a very important thing to know when you're like doing graphic work. You got to make sure you're not stealing anything, and you're making all original stuff. Or if you do use something, you need to make sure it's you know not something you can't be like fine for using and stuff. Basic stuff that I feel like like school should teach you, or at least a like, graphic design uh, school. Maybe not like regular school, but you know what I mean. So I asked him, like, hey, do you guys deal with, like, copyright stuff? Um, I said something else. I'm like, hey, yeah, do you guys deal with that? Or do you guys teach us that? And the guy straight up looks at me for, like, 20 seconds. And is like... 
no. <laughs> and I'm just like, after 20 seconds, you had to say, you said no. And I'm like, and then I try to reiterate my question. I'm like, because in my mind, I'm thinking maybe he didn't hear me probably. So I speak a little bit louder because like I said, I was over Zoom. So it's possible he didn't hear me. And I said, do you guys teach copyright? You're a graphic design school. You should probably be teaching kids about how copyright works. And then he's like, no, I don't teach copyright. You just, you, you don't steal copyright. You don't steal things off the internet. I'm like, that's not all copyright is. You're a graphic design person. I would hope you would know that that's not all what copyright is. Stealing, like, just pulling things off the internet, obviously, yeah, that's a big part of it, but that's not all of it. And as someone that, like, because at that time, I think I would, we already had the YouTube channel, and so I already knew a whole ton of stuff about copyright. I'm just like, do I need to come and be a teacher for you guys? Like, I'll be, if you pay me six, if you pay me like six thousand dollars an hour, I'll go do it. But like, you should know. Like, you're a graphic design course. Like, you should be teaching kids at least, even if it's just a week of this. Like, it doesn't have to be the entire semester. I understand that, obviously. But like, they had no department of it. They had no schedule of it. And it's just like, he didn't even answer the question. He's like, he's like, no, you just don't steal things off the internet. And he gave me then that classic, like, dad tone for those, I, I don't know how to describe this, but he's like, no, we don't steal things off the internet. He gave me that, like, um, he turns his head and he like, I don't know how to describe it. It's like the classic, like, uh, like, you, you don't understand this, let me explain it for you. It's like, I know what copyright is, I'm asking do you teach it? You don't gotta mock me in front of the entire class, thank you very much. And afterwards my friends are like, yeah, he just didn't get it or something. I don't know what they said. But I was just so ticked off, because it's like, I asked you a very simple question. And he, he answered everyone else's question just fine, by the way. I'm going to point this out. It was only my question that, like, I don't know, lit a fuse in him or something. I don't know. Because he didn't answer, he didn't, like, specify an answer. He just said no. And then he's like, he gave me that. I don't know how to describe it. It's like the classic, like, oh, you don't know what you're talking about. Let me explain it for you. Like, that kind of, like, tone, I guess. I don't know how to really describe it. But essentially, that's what it was. And it just irked me so much. Like, I, I never want to see that guy's face again. <laughs> like, that's how much that annoyed the crap out of me. It's like, I know what I'm talking about. I know you don't just steal things off the internet. That's not all what copyright is. I was just upset. And he was a teacher, wait. too. He's been there for, I think he said he was there for, like, 20 years. Like, how do you not know this stuff? You've been there for 20 years. That makes, why would I ever go to your school if you have not, not a single clue of what copyright means? No clue. Doesn't uh, make any sense. I don't know. Some people are just annoying like that, I guess. Well, it's like he didn't have to mock me, though. Like, he could have just said, no, we don't teach copyright. And I would have been fine. Like, okay, cool. I don't. I'm not going to school, but okay. And, like, but he, like, like I said, I don't know. I really don't know how to describe it. I wish I could, but I, like, it's like the. I'm going to try and mimic it. Um. No, we don't teach copyright because you don't just steal things off the internet and then, oh yeah, that, he said my name at the end of that, so that's why it kind of made me irk a little bit. Like, oh, you don't steal things off the internet, Ethan. You don't do that kind of stuff. I'm like, why are you, first of all, why are you talking to me like I'm a four-year-old? And third of all, what do you mean? I know what I'm talking about. I'm asking, do you teach it? I know what it is. Just because I'm asking if you teach it does not automatically assume that I'm an idiot and I'm stupid. Like, that's another thing that really irks me about adults, is that they think they're the smartest cookies in the jar. Not even close. In fact, teenagers, while, don't have, while they don't have the experience, they have the internet access, and they grew up with the internet. So they are more surrounded by facts than common, like, adults are. Like, it just irks me that adults think that automatically kids and teens are stupid. That's not how that works. And it irks me anytime someone says that. That's the only instance I can think of, honestly. But it's happened so many times where adults are like, oh, yeah, d don't know. This is how this works, and this, and you're wrong. Th I'm right. End of story. Like, and they, then they end it with, like, end of story. Like, <clears throat> we just want to flip a table. It's like, yeah. this is not the end of the story because you're saying that you're right and that I'm wrong. Automatically, if you start a conversation, or if you, sorry, if you end the conversation with, oh, I'm right and you're wrong, who's the real wrong one here? Like, if you have to say that, like, that's just really... Really ticks me off. Well, Noah, I I want to see if you have one last story to maybe uh make up I some of these have... negative points you got here. I, I do have one last story, and I don't know if this is gonna work too well, but we'll see. And I really hope I haven't told this one before because it's a good one. Hmm. So, 
back when I was working in a grocery store, um, it was like maybe my third weekend, so I was still relatively new to the job of being a cashier, but I had it down enough that I could scan, have a conversation, and also kind of look at the um, screen while doing all that. So, one day, this old couple comes in, and this guy had um, put on, I think it was a pack of Twisted Teas or something like that. It was some kind of alcoholic beverage he wanted to buy. And it was at the end of the belt because I did not feel like uh, dealing with the alcoholic beverage first because it requires ID and a store policy and all that fun crap. So I scan his whole order. Everything's going well. I scan alcohol. And I say, hey, I'm going to need your ID. He goes, pull out his ID. He says to me, I don't have my ID. And I'm like, okay, uh, does your wife have your ID? She looks, doesn't have her ID either. And they both look at me and say, just give us alcohol. And I'm like, uh, sir, I cannot do that. That is not the store policy. Store policy is... I have to have your ID in order to make this a valid sale. And he just looked at me and said, You fucking retard. Give me the alcohol. And right when he said that, something in me snapped. And I got furious. Like, my hands went from being, like, open and wide to clenched and fisted. And he just kept berating me with insults, saying I was dumb saying that store policy didn't matter, saying that that's how they get your, the government gets your information. And I just kept trying to talk this guy down. It eventually got to the point where I had to call for my manager because I was so mad that I, I just couldn't deal with him because if I dealt with him for another minute or so, I was going to take the alcoholic beverage he wanted and smack him over the fucking head with it. So, I called over my manager, my manager de-escalated the situation, and he didn't get his alcohol that night. But I, in my life, have never been so pissed off at someone just because they did not follow the sort policy, and I was just trying to do my job. Like, never in my life have I been that pissed. But you said that the first one, though. You said you've never been that pissed, and I was saying it again. So, therefore, you have been pissed both those times. So, uh, you like. What are these times? No, like, no, like I have been pissed before that, but to that level of pissed off is where. But I've that's never a double been. negative then, because you're saying that you've never been that pissed off before, which is what you said the first one, and then the last one you just did, you said you've never been pissed off that before. So that's a double negative. So yeah. something ain't right here. I don't let okay, it well, slide because he's so in debt. He's so in debt. <laughs> okay, well I think. Yeah, no, there's no way to really defend that, damn it. No, I, I've noticed that people use our word with you a lot. Are they actually using this word? Are you saying they're using this word? They actually, he actually did call me that. Mm-hmm. Like, I remember distinctly, that was the first insult he threw. Well, first or second. I, I just remember I was standing there on a little black mat because for some reason we, go, we don't get stools for when the store's dead. But I was just standing there. First, like, blind to come out of his mouth was, give me the fucking alcohol, you retard. And I see to repeat the word, you know. No, I was going to say that's throwing two times again, so that's another minus points. Yeah. I... By the way, he did say it. And also, so did he have the alcohol in his hand, or did you have it? I, I had it because I could not hand over it. Until he, either A, I got ID, or B, he paid for it, or C, both. Right, so why didn't you just put it, like, underneath the cash register or something? Just said, I'll, I'll be happy to pay for your other stuff, but you're not paying for that. I, I did, and that's what I recommended. But that made him way more angry. Like, does well, he not understand, that like, that's the rules? Like, It, it is against the rules. And the, company, and the company guidelines, it says... If a customer does not have their ID and they want to buy alcohol, you cannot 
let them buy it. Yeah, that's that's customary usually everywhere. Yeah, yeah. Because you know, I even it... told him that, and he just went off like that, and then in turn, it got me pissed off. Well, I feel like we're ready to wrap up and calculate the points. Uh, I will say one of you has is easier to calculate than the other. <laughs> <laughs> no, it starts crying. <laughs> All right. I just fake crying minus two points. No, no, no. I've already no, calculated his crying. point. I actually, can't tell if it's crying or sweat, man. What? Uh, How can you tell if sweat... it's crying? Sweat comes from everywhere else. Bro, I... crying comes from your eyes. Bro, I have sweat. So much sweat on my forehead, my cheeks, my hands, my arms, my legs. Like, well, you're not like, actually crying like, though, so it's it's sweat. Uh, All right, it's uh, almost done here. Do 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 do. Listen, do, no, do, I'm, I'm taking away more points. Copyrighted cut. <laughs> Stop everything. <laughs> well, I'm... minus twenty points. If you use copyrighted music, I have to pay for that. I forgot, I forgot, damn it. Really, two seconds of that Danny freaking song, Noah. That's already copyrighted. Right. Like five well, seconds of it. Well, we're, I've calculated the points, and it was a very close match with Ethan at a whopping 34 points and Noah at 12. <laughs> close <laughs> <laughs> he says, oh "Yeah, no, you're a whole like twenty six <laughs> points off, bro. Good job. Twenty six point difference. That's close. Well, I made up the twenty six. I don't know. I wasn't. I don't think that's actually how far you were, but I mean, it's pretty funny. <laughs> I like how John basically did what I did last time because I made, what I did last time was like, so no, your your losing streak is still going. It's done. <laughs> like, that's, like, that's basically what he did this time, where it's just like, oh, because usually." If you lost, they start you, like, what I do usually is I start with, like, who lost first, so I'll be like, oh, so Noah had 34 points, and I'll say, oh, but John had, like, this money. And so he said my name first, I'm like, oh, he actually won for once. And then he said <laughs> nope. that you had 12. No, I got baited again. I was about to be so happy, and then he said 12, and I was like... <laughs> If you maybe oh. stop insulting viewers and swearing so much, you wouldn't have so much the, uh... Deductions. Like, can, can we name this episode? No, I guess fucked. No, we can't swearing swear in the title. Next episode. <laughs> no, come on. <laughs> no, but like I'll probably I'll probably name it. No, it gets screwed because we're naming it. We get screwed. Like we. What's the distract? Distract. I think it is. We got screwed or something like that. Yeah. yeah so I don't screwed. want to name it the exact same as theirs. So I'll probably end up naming it. No, it gets screwed. <laughs> That's probably what the actual title will be. Yeah. Uh, well. Do you got a winner's speech prepared, Ethan? Oh, well, I don't got one prepared, but I got one. All right. So, I mean, yeah, the people... I think what we've learned from this episode is people can piss you off in general, but keeping your cool and, you know, diffusing the situation is probably the most important thing. You know, that's uh, that's what I kind of did in my situations. I tried to irk them a little bit, and then I kind of tried to cool them down, because that's what I like to do. Um, But I think, you know, just keep your cool, and then people are going to piss you off no matter what. So you just kind of have to go go with the flow and just live with it. Um, especially, like, I don't think any of us drive yet, so we don't have any driving stories. Um, but I have, like, memories of, like, people cutting my mom off or something in the car or whatever. So even when you're driving or if you're even if you're walking or whatever you're doing in life, you're going to get someone, you're going to get one of those Karens, I'll just say. You know? you know, I know that Karen's not, like, a good term because, it's, you know, it's, it's, what do you call that? Namealizing? Because it's not genderalizing. Because it's, it's, I mean, because oh, there's male Karens out there, but you know what I mean. It's like, it's not, just because your name's Karen doesn't mean you're Karen. But what I'm saying is, people are going to piss you off no matter what. So you better just go with the flow, keep your cool. Because if you can walk away and keep your cool, then you're the bigger person. Because the other person, I guarantee, is fusing and like lighting a bomb inside themselves in the corner while you're walking away with your, with your cool, calm, and collected. So you're the bigger person if you do that. Well, oh, lovely, absolutely lovely. And uh, I, I'm not gonna make Noah do a losing speech. Six losses. Six losses. Yeah. He's, 
you kidding me? Well, like I said, Noah, if I won this one, I have one next time that's going to weigh the or I'll weigh a little bit more. I, I think even with this, like fucking no. helping next episode, I'm still screwed. I, I, if you if you manage to lose this next episode, Noah, you are just you're, you're just bad. Uh, yeah. Like that's how easy it's going to be for you. Because I don't think John does this too much, so he's not really going to have much stories with this one. Mm-hmm. Um, as long as you deliver the stories and don't swear to viewers, then I think you're all right. You, you know what's sad, Noah? I don't mean to put salt in the wound, but you still would have <laughs> lost if you didn't uh, lose any points. Really? <laughs> Wait, what? Yeah, it, it, without the subtractions, you would have had 27 points. Are which is closer, but be. still not as close. <laughs> It's it's closer, but you still would have lost. Wait, how many points did I have at the end? Yeah, thirty-four. 34. Oh, so yeah, it's only a seven-point like difference versus a twenty-two-point difference. What's seven Damn. points? That's like a story or two. So he was still off by a story or two. Damn. Ouch. Well, like I said, uh, next episode is going to be a bit more interesting. Uh, no, not a bit more interesting, but a bit more interesting for Noah because he needs to. Get off his losing streak, and this is the one topic I can think of that that's gonna help him. Because everything else, I think, is fair game because we all have top or we all have th- something to say about it. So we'll see how that works. Um, but uh, yeah, no, just uh, try getting better. I think that's a recommendation. Um, stop swearing. I think that's another one. And uh, stop playing copyright part. music. <laughs> is this still part of your fucking goddamn? Uh, that what counts. That's bitch. another one. Minus twenty points. Uh, well. I think we should wrap it up. Thank you guys for listening. We hope we provoked a conversation and made you laugh along the way. You can find me at Jeevens Feebins on Twitch or on YouTube. Uh, you can find Ethan at Flags Flabs XC Gaming. Flags. On, yeah, Flags. Flags. No. Flags. Minus wow. two points. <laughs> All right. Flabs <laughs> XC oh, wow. Gaming I one on. Plus four to get minus twenty. He gets. Would you stop interrupting me, Noah? <laughs> Yes, yes, he does. Automatic lose next time. Automatic <laughs> lose. No, no, John, don't do that. He gets the best topic ever, like it's like a cooking one or something, and he just loses instantly because he got the you lose card <laughs> at the beginning of the end of this episode. Anyway, you can find Labs XC Gaming on YouTube and Noah Dog Fifty Four on Xbox. If you want to play games with him, he doesn't have a channel or anything, but he's lame. Yep. Was, uh, I will see. make one eventually when I have time. Yeah. Time, well, he says. We'll see you guys next uh, time. I'll, I'll make one when I stop losing. <laughs>